what your life can truly be. Shining star for you to see, what your life can truly be. The new 98.9 Real Gold Radio, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Shining Star. <laughs> yeah, boy. Kim Harsh. Good morning. How are you? I'm much better now that I heard that song. Yes. Are you, Get nice, you moving. nice and toasty warm? <laughs> a nice trip on the way here. All the roads it's clear and dry. Beautiful Michigan oh, weather. Oh, yeah. Well, we got to tell the truth. Here. All roads <laughs> snow covered and slippery. But we're getting used to it, and it won't be long now. Hey, it's March. You know, we, we pretty well got this licked. Wow. I hope. Unless it goes into April, and it just might. You never know. I think we're going out like a lion, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 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 So we have Kim Harsh from the uh, Arts Council of White Lake with our monthly update. Normally, we have Alice Gamble here, but she's down in Texas. She's listening. down in Texas. Yeah, she's listening to us right now. Good morning, Alice. Yeah. <laughs> So what's happening with the Arts Council? Oh, my goodness. What isn't happening? I hear you. <laughs> well, much like the lion weather we're having right now, uh, March is, is a um, quite a kickoff month for the arts uh, all over all over the United States, but especially here in the White Lake area. Yeah. Now, you were closed during January. We were, right? yep. Then you opened in February, and here it is March, so you're rolling along. We are. Okay. Um, okay. For those of you that don't know, we, we combined all three of our locations Last November, uh, we renovated, got into a space within a 20-day period thanks to a lot of volunteer work. Mm -hmm. And we opened our doors and we were open for the holiday season. And then we were fortunate enough to get a little more funding in from the community. So we shut our doors for January and did a lot more renovation. Yeah, I know. And now we're open again. We will have actually a grand opening in May. Ah, uh, so you know, for that. I was in there, oh, about three or four weeks ago. White Lake Flooring was in there doing, they a, are doing wonderful. a super job. Yes. Yeah, and I'm so glad you're bringing that up. White Lake Flooring is, is one of the many organizations that came out and gave of their time, gave of their materials, donated, I mean, they donated thousands of dollars worth of materials and time to us and came in in great spirits, had a wonderful time, sure. did a beautiful job, highly recommend them. There you go. Yeah. See, one hand washes the other. That's, well, we're all a community. We help each other, That's just like right. Real Gold Radio does. You bet. We're here for you 24-7. Anything you want to relate to the community, we are here. Free of charge. Why not? Uh, right. Why not? <laughs> But we'll bill you later. <laughs> That's what we do. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we have a ton coming up already in March. If you sure. want me to talk a little bit oh, about events, I'm I happy do, to do that. I do. All right. Well, right now at the Arts Council of White Lake, our new location is the old Colby Street Shop, which is was one of my favorite haunts. Uh, um, just uh, down the ways from Bell Furniture and all that? Right. We're right in between the new Habitat for Humanity Restore and Bell's Furniture. Mm -hmm. And across the street from the Hokey Pokey. All fantastic places if you yeah. haven't been there yet. And Hunt's Hardware and all And that. Hunt's Hardware, yes. Sure. And yep. not too far from Fetch Brewery. Which Yummy. Is, which is kind of nice, I have uh, to say. Sure. It's just a walk away. Yeah. So we do frequent there often, too. <laughs> So um, we have right now for the month of March, we have our Change of Seasons exhibit, which is a huge community exhibit. We have over 100 entries from area artists of all ages. They start from kindergarten all the way up till, you know, basically age 8 to 100. That's great to keep the kids involved. Yeah. They're number one, actually. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Just That's like the with, gateway. With the uh, White Lake Community Library, they do, you know, 90%, 85% of their activities deals with the children, and that's the way it should be. Yeah, oh, they're the future. You bet. They're the future, and yeah. they're the ones that oftentimes are underserved. Uh -huh. um, I think with today's families working, you have dual incomes, parents are going all different directions, yeah. and yeah. kids are latchkey kids, you know. Oh, man. Um, it, yeah, you got it. We need more things for them to do and free sure. things for them to do, for sure. the family to do. So, yes, um, that this, are safe this is and one of sound. them. Yeah, yeah. So, this is one of them. We have um, out of the hundreds, uh, hundred, I think we had just under 100 entries. We juried in about 80 of those entries. So, we have, like I said, on the walls right now, artwork from kids on up through 100 years old. <laughs> oh, it's nice too. <laughs> Come in and see that. That's in our new location, it fills our entire space. It's really a beautiful exhibit. And a lot of that is for sale, isn't it? I mean, it is, yes. Sure. Yep. All of it's for sale. And um, 
the members who entered, we actually gave out cash prizes to kids and adults. So anywhere from, I think our top prize was $300 um, and then down from there. So wow. when you can That's come and see what's your favorite, let us know. Ah, uh, very good. Yeah. Continue, continue. Also coming up in the month of March, we have two of our music lectures. Our music lecture series is a wonderful event put on by our Music and Performing Arts Division, and they feature area artists, um, area professionals rather, who talk about not only music, but different avenues of art and, and different subjects of art. They're really, really super interesting. Mm -hmm. And on March 11, we have, we have coming up Scott Speck. Do you know who Scott oh, Speck is? Yes. I wanted to get him on for the longest time. Oh. I have been in contact with the West Shore Symphony Orchestra. Oh, good. Yeah. West Michigan Symphony conductor Scott Speck oh. is quite, I don't know if you know a lot about him, but he's quite renowned for what he does. He's very innovative. Um, I'm told he's just a wonderful speaker. So he will be speaking on March 11 mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. at our brand new location. And he'll be speaking on creating a world-class orchestra on the lakeshore. So he's going to talk about his experiences putting together the West Michigan Symphony, which is, I, have you been to the symphony lately? No, it's, it's been about, well, last year I was. Good, yeah. good. Well, they're coming up on their Beethoven and Blue Jeans, oh, which yeah. is this I coming weekend, that. too. In two about. weeks, I'm sorry. So, yeah. yeah. So we will have him coming and speaking, and it's only $5. Limited seating is available. We do give out complimentary beverages and snacks, thanks to uh, a hospitality committee that's um, part of the Music and Performing Arts. And where's that going to be? That's going to be at our new location, which is 106 East Colby Street okay. in right. Whitehall. Okay. You have a capacity of how many people in that building? Um, it's about 100. Yeah. That's it's about 100. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, it's really terrific. We usually get about 50 or 60 people for, for events like this. Oh, nice. So it's really nice and comfortable, plenty of room to mingle around. You can look right. at the artwork right. at, if there's a break, um, and it's really nice and intimate. Then we also have the month of March, we have another music lecture. It's very odd that we have two in one month. We had a snow date come up last month. So we will be featuring Foley Schuler as another speaker, and he will be speaking on March 24. Now, if you're not familiar with Foley Schuler, no, it's another name, public radio uh, uh, host okay, right. yeah, sure. for Blue Lake Public Radio. Right. Um, and he's going to be talking about his experiences. You can really relate to this. His experiences as a host, oh. a radio host. Oh, like WKRP in Cincinnati. Right, <laughs> right for the classical <laughs> world. Exactly. Okay. Right. So his lecture is entitled, Every Weekday at One, A Classical Music Radio Host Reflects. Oh, that's going to be great. It really is. If you haven't been privy to one of Foley's lectures, they're really, they're again, really intimate, very introspective. He usually uses a lot of poetry mm. in the way that he writes his lectures. So it's really, if he doesn't have visuals, which sometimes he does, he, he paints a picture with audio um, and with his words. It's really cool. So that is March 24th, 7 p.m. again. Again, it's only $5 for a ticket. And you can visit our website at artswhitelake.org for that information. All right. Yeah. Are you looking at me for more? Do we just keep going? Oh, you And going and going? Yeah. <laughs> you give us one more, then we're going to take a little break, okay? But you just keep on going. That's why you're here. We oh, have, my uh, goodness. You know, you folks are here the first Tuesday of every month to mm -hmm. give us a complete rundown, a complete update. And uh, so continue. I'm continuing. Well, you were talking about the brewery. Oh, yeah. Fetch so we brewery. have this amazing new brewery in our oh, hometown, I hear Fetch you. Brewery. Yes. Have you been in there? Oh, yes, yeah, several times. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Later on in the afternoon. Right. <laughs> Not first time in the morning. <laughs> I think we should ask them to, to start brewing a breakfast beer. What do you think? Yeah. You know, uh, Jen and what's his Dan. name? Dan. Dan. They, mm -hmm. They've been on the air with me before. Oh, they're just wonderful. Yeah, it was a month and a half, two months ago. And in fact, the. Uh, the interview is still on our Facebook page, like this interview will be. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So they're great people, very hardworking people, but the place is a success already, I would say, wouldn't you? Oh, for sure. Their yeah. beer is starting to be featured all over West Michigan. Yeah. They have, so, little, they have little sample glasses, you know. They do. And what I love the most about the brewery, yes, the beer is absolutely incredible, and it's oh, one of a kind. 
I'd like to have a couple before I go on the air at 7 o'clock in the morning. What See? do you think? Breakfast beer. Oh, sure. See? Yeah, I don't think I should do that. <laughs> You're happy enough. But I'm, I try. <laughs> Um, what I love the most about them, again, not only their beer, but they have created this really wonderfully friendly atmosphere and culture. Yeah. They're very educational about the beer that they're serving. So for me, I'm, I'm still learning uh -huh. how to drink beer and what to drink. Uh -huh. And when you walk in there, they'll ask you, what kind of beer do you usually like? Right. If you don't usually drink beer, well, well what kind of spirits do you usually like? Right. And they will help you match your taste buds with the beer that you like. Yeah. So one thing that we're doing that's been wildly successful is something called Brushes and Brew. And we do this at Fetch Brewery. We bring in a professional artist and that professional artist will teach you how to paint a single piece. So last month at Fetch Brewery we had 25 people come and of course you can buy all the beer that you want at the brewery. And our artist taught them how to paint a version of Starry Night. Really? So by the time you leave, it's a two-hour session. It's 6 to 8 p.m. By the time you leave, you have your own masterpiece. Is that and right? And you've had some great beer and some great friendship. Yeah. I notice all the, the waitresses are extremely friendly. They Very must, much so. They must really enjoy what they're doing. You can just tell. Well, and that goes back to Jen and Dan. Yes, it does. Like I said, that culture they're creating, they're just wonderful people to yeah. begin with. It's an old, classy building built in the 1920s as a bank, and the, yeah. vault, the vault is still there. And it's covered in pennies now, yeah. which is the work of artist Kara O'Brien, who's is, also a local is artist. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Brushes and Brew is also on March 24, that's 6 to 8 p.m., and it, there is limited seating. It is filling up pretty quickly. It's only $25 for the night. Okay. All right. Tell you what, we're going to take a little break. Okay. Okay. We're going to dance some more. You have more? I always have more. <laughs> okay. I can talk forever. <laughs> okay. But first, we have to give a shout out to Chicago Bill, who I know. Do you know Chicago I Bill? do not. No? Well, <laughs> well, here he is. Chicago Bill. I got something to say. I says, you got a beautiful music station. You got beautiful people working for you, and it brings the community together. And because you advertise in this community, it's all tightened up. Love it. Everybody has a good time at the, at the VFW in Montague, and, yeah. and Chicago Bill is one of them. Yay, uh, Chicago Bill. Yeah. Tighten it up. All right. <laughs> So we have fun here at Real Gold Radio every morning, and, you know, John Allen, uh, the owner of the radio station, is on uh, every weekday afternoon from 3 until 6. How many radio stations do you find the owner on the air? That's they, really terrific. It is. It That's is. that community spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we get into Norton Shores and all of Muskegon, and, of course, Whitehall Montague over to Fremont and up to Hart, you know. and if That's that a is, great reach. And if that isn't enough, we are on the World Wide Web. The WWW. Yeah. So it's the fun. interwebs. So we're talking with uh, Kim Harsh from the Arts Council of White Lake. Continue, my dear. Continue. Yes. Well, one of the things we're really focusing on in this coming year is... Um, providing more avenues for involvement for area artists and more support for area artists. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that we're doing that is we are featuring more I exhibits, more opportunities for outside artists to participate in those exhibits. We have an uh, artist membership that exhibits year-round, but we're opening that up now to other artists who are not current members to be able to exhibit. So one of those upcoming exhibits is entitled In Flight. And we are now open for entries for artists to go ahead and submit their work. And this is, I'm really excited about this oh, yeah? exhibit. Um, let me read you well, the description. Calm down now. Calm I know, down. I'm so excited. Uh, calm down. Um, the description of this is, <laughs> flight is an idea that has attracted and eluded humans for centuries. It symbolizes freedom, serenity, and beauty. Submit your work that best embodies flight and all the mystery it entails. So this is open to artists above the age of 18 in any medium. In Think of anything that flight could embody. It could be 
Um, one of the thoughts was one of our artists wants to do a horse that's jumping. Oh, I see. That's in flight. Okay. Or birds or oh, wow. a balloon oh. or anything that you can think of creatively that would embody flight. So you can actually submit your artwork at this time. It's only $10 to submit. And you will be juried in by our Artist Advisory Board. And they get a hold of you. Right? And they get a hold of us. At, okay. They can look us up at artswhitelake.org. And you can actually enter online that way. Uh, great. Sure. That's really crazy. A oh. lot of galleries are going to this now. You submit oh. your work online <clears throat> and you get accepted or yeah, that's declared. Te that's technology. I know. It's, it's crazy. I, I'm still trying to catch up. I can, I'm starting to text now. Would you believe that? I just, you know, I'm going crazy. Why? Don't do it. Don't no. don't go no. over to the dark side. No. No. Why? Why? Unplug what? your phone. Is that right? <laughs> just <laughs> listen to you. Go off into the mountains. <laughs> yeah, stop this Facebook page oh, stuff. Oh, my goodness. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh, you know, got to join it. I suppose. <laughs> but I know a lot of people are on Facebook every minute of every day. They and are. And they're a little strange. I, you know, I think they're going the opposite direction really? now, though. Yeah, yeah. I even noticed teenagers, like my, my uh -huh. teenage daughter, um, she was pretty into all of that for a while, yeah. and now she's kind of doing a flip where uh, she's off yeah, it a lot more. Yeah, she'll, she experienced it, you know, enough to know, well, okay, it's nice, but I can go on to different things, right? Oh, or I can connect with... Uh individuals face to face there you the go. more of a personal I connection know. that's the best way i think we're using it now to get news and events and happenings around the world which is great it's sort of oh, returned yeah. to what broadcasting was in my mind meant I to know. be well like this radio station what what's television anymore it's a mess right i think it is there's some good stuff out there but yeah yeah not, yeah not much edward r murrow is turning <laughs> in his grave isn't he I sure is. i know <laughs> So we have some other things coming up. Shall I keep talking? Sure. All right. We have, um, I don't know if you know this about the Arts Council, but we also give out scholarships and grants to artists in the community, um, kids K through 12 who want to do art events. We give a lot of scholarships to kids wanting to go to Blue Lake Camp. We also give grants to area organizations who want to put on art events. And one of our deadlines is coming up. May 1st is, we have two deadlines for those scholarships, May 1st and December 1st. So, um, like I said, this, this can be used for anything from art classes, music classes, classes at our Nuveen Community Center, classes outside of the community, as long as you are from this community, mm -hmm. events happening in the school system. So, check us out online again for sure. those opportunities sure, we'd love to give you money you have a complete list of everything online don't oh you? absolutely that's the way to do it great you have to right i suppose you, you know. have to yeah because uh, believe it or not not everyone listens to real gold radio i know it's a shock. yes they do <laughs> i like the way you think <laughs> You know what else we have coming up? What? The, and this is Alice's genre. I don't know if you know this, but Alice is a phenomenal playwright and director. Really? Theater director, I yes. I did not know that. That's what she spent the whole first part of her life doing for Valparaiso High School. She was a theater arts director, a playwriting um, teacher. That's her specialty. Hmm. So she actually has some auditions coming up for her youth theater performance of her original works of Not a Baby Anymore and Fletcher's Friends. These are, this Not a Baby Anymore is a musical and it's geared toward middle school students, which is really great because they don't always get the opportunities. A lot of times it's geared toward the high school kids. Oh, uh, okay. So she has some auditions coming up March 30 and or 31 from 6 to 8 p.m. Hmm. And that'll be at the Whitehall City Hall. Are you familiar with where that is? Oh, sure. Right. It's in Whitehall. Right on Colby Street. What do you think? That's it's pretty good. It's in Whitehall. Good. Yeah. Great. Very good. All right. <laughs> I'm smarter than I look. That's uh, good news, I'll tell you. That's great news. And then performance <laughs> dates are June You're 11, 12, me. and Would 13. You that? Oscar Osbo is here. He's, um, Hi, Oscar. He's recording our interview for us. I think Facebook he looks thing. very smart. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, Oscar? Well, okay. If you say so. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, okay. Well, Oscar's smart. Anyway, continue right along before I get in deep trouble. Oh, no worries. Okay. 
So, yes, performance dates for Not a Baby Anymore and Fletcher's Friends will be June 11, 12, and 13. And again, those auditions are March 30 and 31. And this is presented by our Nuveen Theater Workshop. The Nuveen Community Center for the Arts is a division of the Arts Council of White Lake. It's the educational division. Mm -hmm. And it's named Nuveen, for those of you that don't know, for a family that contributes every year to the Nuveen Community Center so that we can actually pay to have a wonderful director who sure. at this time her name is Jennifer Diamond Wright does a fantastic job wonderful so not a baby anymore again is a musical about middle schoolers about life in the middle school and then Fletcher's friends is a preview of Alice's newest work that she's working on so you will get to participate in not only one performance but two in the same package wow yeah okay. So if you want more information on that, visit the website, or you can actually email Jennifer at Nuveen, which is N-U-V-E-E-N, right. at artswhitelake.org. Okay. All right. Well, I think that about wraps it up. You think so? Yeah. Well, you got one more? I have one more. Okay, because I think, you know, you'll be back, or Alice will be here uh, the first Tuesday in, uh, in April. Yes. 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 Continue. Yes, a couple sure. of things. We um, have to cover everything. We, we really do. There's so much, and I, I, there's so much happening at the Helmet Playhouse, too, oh, so yeah. don't forget them. Yeah, they're um, one of our good underwriters. Oh, they're wonderful. Sure. What a, what a terrific gem we have in our community with oh, that theater. It's amazing. And everybody there, yes. One of the things we're doing in partnership with the Playhouse is a theater survival skills spring camp. And this is going to happen over spring break. April 6 to 10. It's a Monday through Friday camp. And kids actually learn during this week theater survival skills. So everything from playwriting, monologue performance, stage managing, creating deep emotions on stage, basic makeup skills, improvisation, some accents, voice projection and volume and articulation. That's a lot to learn in one week. It but, sure is. But think about, um, you know, the ages are grades three to five and grades six to eight so we wow. keep everything really moving I bet. Um, and making it really interesting for the kids and that's a wonderful partnership we have every year with the Helmet Playhouse which has its own wonderful youth program as well so we're really looking forward to that and one more thing I have to plug I promised Alice sure. she is the chair of our membership committee at the Arts Council of right. White Lake so the only way we can do all of this amazing artistic creative things in our community is through membership support and through donations mm. and membership you may think membership may be really expensive to be able to do all of this but it really starts at $25 for an individual goes up to $50 for a family and what that does again is go it goes back to our expenses it also helps fund those scholarships and grants I talked to you about so really creating the avenues for the arts in our community that we need so desperately so, becoming a member, great way to help. Very good. Do yeah. you know Buddy Pops? Of course I know Buddy Pops. Here he is. I'm Buddy Pops. Let's all think spring. I, I, I take that back. I want a snowmobile. Yeah, well, that's the way. <laughs> Put a cork in it, Buddy. <laughs> Actually, he and my husband just went snowmobiling this is past right? weekend. So. All right. He's a great guy. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. You know, he's a basketball coach, too. Is he really? He that. Yeah. For? For Whitehall um, JV. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that wraps it up, right? That wraps it up. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> okay. Visit us on the web, artswhitelake.org. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having us. We have been talking with Kim Harsh from the Arts Council of White Lake. And uh, it's, it's great to have you here. And we're going to have uh, Alice back on uh, the first Tuesday in April. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you for all you do for our community. You bet. Real Gold Radio. We'll let you get back out into the hot sunshine. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Have a great day. Real Gold Radio. If you're headed north.